Alright guys, so as you guys know, Valorant's new season is out a few days ago and a lot of you guys have been asking me to make a guide on Valorant's new season. So in this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys what are the best settings, tweaks and changes in your PC to get better FPS and better performance in Valorant. So make sure to watch this video till the end because there is going to be a lot of informative things over here. Also, I have a small request. We are really close to 40,000 subscribers and I believe in you guys. If you hit that red subscribe button down below it will make me happy with all that said let's roll the intro all right so the really first thing that we have to do in each of the video as i always say is create a restore point and this is a really simple step just search for create a restore point on your device and then select your local disk c and make sure that turn on system protection is enabled then click on ok and then click on create name it valorant fps and then click on create this is just a fail safe method so if anything goes wrong any registry file fails or your pc is going into an error state you can always restore everything back to where everything was normal so this is a very important step i highly recommend you guys do not skip this once it's done just simply click on close and get out of the system properties next thing is disabling the xbox game bar so for that search for xbox game bar over here and then Search for enable Xbox game bar under the settings. In here, make sure that Xbox game bar is turned off. Also, over here, you'll see graphic settings. Go into the graphic settings and then click on browse. Then go to the download location of Valorant. For me, it's in local disk C, Riot Games, Valorant Live and Valorant.exe. Simply go and hit add and then click on options and select high performance. Once you have added Valorant in here, simply close the settings. Now, next thing you have to do is right click on your Valorant launch logo, show more options and then go to properties. Over here, go to compatibility. Over here, click on change high DPI settings. Then click on override high DPI scaling behavior and then select applications. Then click on OK and also disable full screen optimization. Once you're done with that, click on apply and then click on OK. Next step is press your windows and R together and then search for app data. Now, once you are over here, go to local and then search for Valorant. In here, go to saved, then go to configs and over here, you'll find all of the accounts that you have played on. Simply click on date modified and search for the latest date which has been edited. Over here, this is my account which I usually play on. Simply double click on this and then go to windows and over here, you'll find the game user settings.ini. Simply right click on it and then show more options. Go to properties and make sure you haven't set it on read only. If you have previously watched another creator's video, you might have set this to read only. So just uncheck it so that you can make changes to it. Then simply double click and open it up. Now in here, you have to scroll all the way down. There is a very magical thing in this section that is scalability group. And just set everything over here to one. Just set all of these things to one because even though you change everything down to, uh, you know, the lowest settings, it's still not all the way down as you expect. So. For this, everything, simply go to 1 or if that doesn't work for you guys, simply set all of this to 0 by default. So you can choose any value between 0 to 1 that will set your game to the lowest settings possible. Once you're done with that, simply close it, click on save. Once you are done, go back and close this thing. Next step is exit lag. Exit lag is one of the best applications out there to control your network and FPS all together with one application. Exit lag has a list of over 250 games to choose from and is the pro's choice. So go to the link in the description below and then you'll be going to a site like this. Simply click on 3 days free trial over here and then download exit lag's latest version. And as soon as you open it up, you'll see an interface like this. So over here, you can search all of the games, any game that you want to play. I have already added Valorant from the list to here. Once you add Valorant in the list, 
you will see it starts analyzing the routes. This will basically optimize the best internet connection from your PC to the server. So let this do its job. Once it's done, it will show you all the game regions which you can select from. Simply choose the nearest region or leave it automatic if you guys don't know your region. But in my case, I know my region. It's in India, Mumbai, 01. I'll just select this and you guys will see I'll get an estimated 3 to 4 milliseconds ping. Make sure to click all of these three options over here and then click on apply. Then Valorant will be added over here. Then go to tools section and then make sure to copy the same settings as over here. Then go to the FPS boost section and then click on the first, third, fourth, fifth and last two options. And once you're done with that, simply close it and restart your PC once. So if exit lag works for you guys, I want to let you guys know that it's not free. You have to get the subscription plan for exit lag and it's really easy to get one. It's not very costly. So if you guys get a monthly, semi-annual or quarterly plan, and if it's too much for you guys, you can always use code bearfox20 on your first purchase on any of these plans to get flat 20% off so go check it out links in the description below now once you have restarted your pc last step is download the valorant fps pack and i'll be leaving a link to that in the description below simply go and download the fps pack from there extract it and you will see in five folders the first one is for performance option, second one is for programs, third one is for latency, fourth one is for RAM optimization and last one is for cleanups. Simply open up the first folder, go to performance options and over here click to adjust for best performance. You can see everything goes blocky blocky but as you guys can see the fonts have been changed, windows animation have been removed so that is the performance option if you want to change it if you want to change it simply click on adjust for best appearance click on apply and everything will go back to normal so if you are playing the games i highly recommend you guys to go and adjust for best performance if you have a very low end pc but if not you can always go for the best appearance once you're done with that go to the second folder which is programs and in here you'll find quick cpu simply install quick cpu and open it up the interface of the program should look like this now over here you'll see your system plan that is your active system plan so just make sure to select on the high performance or ultimate performance if you have one and over here uh, set your best uh, power plan and then for core parking click on 100% and then click on apply once you're done with that go to memory section over here and then make sure to click on clean this will drop the use of your memory in your computer, allowing it to work much faster. Then close it and then also close quick CPU. Then go back to the FPS pack, simply select latency and in here you'll find your timer resolution. Simply click on maximum and then minimize it. Then go back, you'll find another folder which says RAM optimization and you'll have a lot of RAM files in here. So basically you need to find the RAM that you are using in your PC. If you don't know what the RAM in your PC, simply press Windows key and then search for system information. Over here, scroll down and find the installed physical memory in your computer. For me, I am having 16 GB, so I'll run 16 GB RAM registry. But if you are having other than 16 GB, I have left a lot of presets over here, so simply set the ones from here. And again, if your RAM doesn't work fine, you always have an option to restore it to default. So that works. Last but not the least is cleanup files and in here you'll have batch tweaks and in here you'll have the uh, clean temporary files, remove runtime broker and useful tweaks for your computer. So all you can do is simply right click and double click on them, just run them, it will work just fine. This will save a lot of your windows processing power, now I'm not gonna run it because it's gonna disrupt my recording, so you guys can do it on your own. And once you're done with that, you are done with almost all of these steps, simply open Open up Valorant and try going into the game but before that there is one more setting that you need to apply in Valorant so open the game up so before ending this video there is one important setting that you have to do in your game so for that simply open up Valorant let it load and then follow what I do alright so once you are in game simply go to your settings and then go to video settings 
then over here go to graphics quality and make sure to enable multi-threaded rendering this will allow your game to run much faster if you haven't turned this setting on yet do it because it's gonna give you instant fps boost multi-threaded rendering will allow more cores and more threads of your computer to be used while playing your game so this will help you guys a lot other than that make sure that everything is set to low vsync is turned off uh, and everything is set all the way to none and low and this will give you the best quality gaming experience that you can get so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button since it really helps me out a lot we'll see you guys in the next video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out